All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. It is I, it's Alistair, and today, I don't know where we left off. Where did we leave off? <laughs> okay, we did the third gym, that's good. Okay, now I have a question. Um, I don't know what we did last time. <laughs> hey, where are we? All oh, right, we just got here. Okay. Uh, so one thing I want to mention right before we start is that I do have a portable air conditioner running in the background. So if you do hear a weird rumble kind of thing coming from the background or something like that, that's what it is. I just tested it and it, and I didn't hear anything. But then again, that's only like, what was it, like 10 seconds of recording. So I don't know how long it will be until it actually does like before it is heard. Uh, I definitely know that if I were to have plugged, I were to have used the other microphone, you would hear it because it is very sensitive. Despite the fact that I have it set to be just as sensitive as this microphone, it doesn't work. Anyway, so uh, I did do some training, as you can probably very well figure out. So I found the maximum level. I'm very shocked at it, but nothing too major, kind of thing. So the maximum level apparently is 39. I want I used the Chansey Reggie Gigas to find out what the maximum level is, of course, and I found that it was 39. I was like, what? So I ended up getting Jolt Gone here to be level 39 by accident because I was trying to train up these. You wanna know which one was difficult? This one. Most difficult. And Char Knight was also kind of difficult, but not too much so it's it's fine anyway so first things first that i wanted to mention is that as you'll see through my iv turtle i have leech seed again how did this happen well allow me to show you so when you go into apparently it's any pokemon center i tried this one first and it worked no was it was it the other town i think it was this one anyway so i went so if you go to this one you go up go here you find the room reminder and then he'll teach a uh, he'll make a Pokemon remember a single move for a thousand poke dollars as you can see I've used him a little bit I think I had like a hundred thousand or something like that because I only used it for like five or six moves so it's so I didn't abuse him or anything like that mostly all I taught was I think I taught Char Knight here fire and thunder punch and roost so that way though he like he has three moves Ivy Turtle was Leech Seed. I don't think I taught you any moves through it. Although I would love Dazzling Gleam. You didn't teach any new moves. You might have been Discharge. I'm not 100% sure. And Chansey was... And the Chan Gigas was Soft Boiled. That's it. That's all that I did. All right, so because this is this infuriated me last time, I'm going to show you where I trained, and where if you're using a similar team like I am or something else around that, uh, I'll show you how like I did it pretty much. But the difference is that I'm going to be facing all the trainers I didn't face before because I was frustrated because I had to literally go like solo snake style and actually sneak around. Oh, come on! Come on, Reggie Rock! That's not fair. Extra sensor? Ooh! next one uh get that thing off my screen well i'm gonna have nightmares today if not now later yeah meltdown Ugh. all right come on biker oh you fool there we go my bike's acting up man your bike is acting up to be a jerk oh my biker all right. Ooh, that's a nice looking sprite. Thunder Punch. Bye. So that's either water poison. I think water, grass, 
passes. Not weak to electric? Yeah, then this guy was here. I tried training off of this guy, and then when I had to heal, I got triggered this, so I had to restart it again. But there's a different trainer we can do, and that one's actually really good, so we're gonna go do that. By the way, or I'll run you down. Okay. Togeton? Okay. Uh, Fire Punch. Oh, you're not the Steel type. Never mind, doesn't matter. Uh, that's Togepi. Okay. Oma Sand. It's burned. Oh, that might actually help. Okay. I'm still under the effects of Encore. Can Encore end? Okay. Galcor ended, finally. Uh, I can use Dragon Rage. This should have more health for me. Yeah. Awesome! So, Charnix! Aqua Tail? Ooh! No, we're gonna keep what we have. You for real, kid? Yeah. Yeah, Charnite! Still gonna stay a Charnite. There we go, Tar Knight is evolved into Tar Knight. Yeah, this one's the sprite that I recently used. I used this one for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why it asked me to change it. Wing attack. Do we need wing attack? No, I think Dragon Claw is more so what we need. It wants an Aqua Tail again. No! Did it just... No. Stop trying to learn moves that you've already tried to learn. I want to use uh, Ivy Total. My dad gave me some real, some rare Pokemon, and I fused them with my favorite Pokemon, Meowth. Okay, let's see what we got here. First of all, where is the Meow? Second of all, what's the rare Pokemon? Anyway, where's it? Oh, what the? Okay. <gasps> I know my new training partner. I know my new training partner. This is awesome. You have no idea what this actually does for me. That's a lot of experience. <laughs> it's Ron! I love the name. I love it. It's adorable. Hey everybody, this is my best friend, Ron. Oh, it's sturdy. Oh no. Okay. This is where all the training comes into full play. Marvels. No! Ivy Tortle! Come on, Water Pulse again! Yeah! <laughs> it's trying to deafen me! Come on, Water Pulse, come on, please! Come on! There we go. Meow. Cool. Yeah, so pretty much what would happen is that after I'm done training with this guy, I would need to get healed, and I would try and, like, go past this guy, and then bad things would happen, so. Well, actually, the first thing I checked, or I tried, was this guy, but he just asked me if I want to gamble. And I was like, oh, great, you're not going to allow me to train off of you. It's like, okay, fine then. I'm going to go do something else. And then I ran away. Oh. That's not, that's not what I needed to do. I need to heal.
go. Perfect. Alright, so now that we're back here, let's go see what else we have. So, I feast. I didn't feast again, okay. You must look silly standing here like this. You said it, not me. Sildoof? Cool. Yay, my Wretched Leaf does less damage. Frost Quaza. Ooh. What does Water Pulse do? Ooh, okay. Oh no, I'm slower now. That's not going to affect me too much, though. Yeah, because it's just going to use Icy Lemmy. Okay, so I wonder if it's going to do it again. I hope it does, because this is actually kind of interesting. And this must have been a recent, recent change, because I don't remember ever doing this when I played. And I played it when it was like 6.0 or something like that. Either that, or it's a part of the one of the randomizer changes kind of thing. Which it could very well be. Okay, I think I have to switch. There's no point in me staying in. Alright. Cecil. I think for Scizor here, if there was one, like... Ooh, that looks kind of... That looks awesome! But, like, if there was, like, an item that's, like, a flying gem, but, like, it doesn't get removed at the end of, like, the battle kind of thing, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so, so this is new. I don't remember this ever happening. And I had two Pokemon that evolved at level 36. Like, both together, and they never did this. So it says that both halves of that are ready to evolve. But it allow, but it tells you to choose one kind of thing. So let's evolve the body. I'm surprised it doesn't ask you, hey, evolve both of them. That looks so awesome! That looks so cool! I almost don't want to evolve it into Venusaur now. Infinite fusions? I'll have you know that the possible number of fusions is, on the contrary, quite finite. Shut up. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Yeah, I'll drink this. That's fine. Ow! Water pulse. Let's go! Uh oh, it's now trying to become a threat, but it's a little too late for that. Water pulse. I forgot to switch the Pokemon. Uh, I'll go with Magnoe. My favorite Pokemon is Nidoran. What about you? My favorite Pokemon... I don't think I have a singular one. I don't think I do. I don't think I have a single one. I think it's more so like, what's my favorite Pokemon for each generation? What's my favorite Pokemon? Yeah, I think it's like... I I'm not that kind of person where it's like, I only have one favorite Pokemon kind of thing. I'm really like, which is which is like my favorite Pokemon for like one generation kind of thing. 
Like, if you had to pick all of Generation 1, not counting pseudo-legendary, not counting legendary, like, what's your favorite Pokemon kind of Mine is Arcanine. If I had to say anything. Oh no, my ability! Oh no, I don't get priority over status moves. Anyway. Now I just really know how to handle. Alright. Hello! Twin power? Your twin's all the way up there, though. And now they're with us. Okay. We got this. Discharge! Oh, this is gonna get hit. <gasps> but I have the tech! Let's go! Jolt gone! <laughs> what? Come on! Did you just do Furious Waves on a Steel type? What a fool! Oh no, we can't get crits anymore, anyway. You also have Discharge. Really? Oh, wait, Steel- oh wait, that's right, right. Steel type is not resistant. <laughs> Why did I think that? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I think it's because I'm so common seeing Magneton kind of thing. I think Magneton's probably resistant to electric. So I keep- so I keep associating it that it like, oh, it's resistant to it, don't worry. But no, it isn't. <laughs> My mind is so screwed up because of Gen 1. <laughs> Uh, alright. And after this, we get to do, uh, after this game is done, we get to do Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. <gasps> Maybe not Emerald. I don't know if I want to do Emerald right off the bat. But anyway, so here's where I trained. I went to this guy over here. You might be able to know because the level of this Pokemon is different from when we first fought him. Hello! Yeah, still on level 29. Alright, 